I could have went ahead and showcased you only one out of the four games which you're gonna see in this video with a title like this is how to loot the Northridge Hotel and extract with 700,000. But I'm not gonna do that because I wanna give you the whole story. So you're gonna see four games and out of the four games, I extracted only one single time. This is due to the fact that it's Northridge. I was playing solo, no random, solo, and uh, legend lobbies. The idea of the video is to show you guys how to loot the Northridge Hotel, at least in my opinion. You need to play lockdown and you need keys. You need to have at least like the main keys. Without that, it's not worth risking your life and your equipment and going into the hotel. In the first game, I was playing with an F2000 and I got the best spawn ever. I mean, that's the spawn, which is kind of the closest to the hotel. It's an easy pass. You don't need to fight yourself through bots and such, and you can quickly get to the hotel and to the locked rooms. Everything went smooth. I went to the first locked room, B203, and I found the red item, necklace. What a nice start, guys. By the way, I don't have the reception key and also don't have the manager key. I play with other six keys. You're gonna see that that along the way but anyways I was sitting here camping for a while because I knew there's an enemy around and when I felt like it's time to move on and it's safe to go ahead to the VIP launch then I met a camper sitting in the toilet with an Usas he destroyed me that's it in the second game I picked up a DP-12 one of my favorite shotguns because I got killed by that Usas guy in the previous game so I felt like okay I'm gonna give it a try and I did one kill outside of the hotel but then I, I got shot by a sniper. This is what it is on Northridge. It can easily happen that you get sniped by a thermal guy or simply by an AX50 guy or a SVDS guy. It can happen. So I lost everything. I had to start the next game. In the third game, I was playing with a Skarel and this time I was approaching the hotel from the other side. So where you have that broken wall, uh, and these are the two entrances I recommend using. Anyways, in this case, my first destination was the cinema and the cinema room, projection room, and, and the safe we have in there. Nothing was in the safe. And then I don't know how, but two guys just, just heard me or saw me or I don't know. And then wave of grenades were incoming. One, two, three, four, five. And then one of the guys shoot me through the window. I didn't even know that you can shoot people through that window, but anyways, somehow they they knew i'm there i i it's kind of still a big question mark for me because i was losing that computer anyways i dressed up again and headed into the fourth game which was with an fal 1x scope i was like i don't care because i just want to make myself into the hotel and start looting the rooms i want to loot and here i'm gonna grab the chance to give a shout out to zach my friend who is kind of the king of northridge he has 500 ish subscribers at the moment he is streaming actively on a daily basis he plays northridge as his main map he knows every single corner of the hotel and he's a legend 50 star player so check him out so i was spawning on the east side of the map so i was heading towards the broken wall after opening the cinema safe we're gonna stay in building D. That's building D. We are going to avoid building A. We, we, we just don't wanna touch that because there's so much loot in the hotel that building B, C, and D is gonna be perfectly fine. You're gonna have your bags full and then you can extract. There's actually much more loot than what you can pick up. So from the cinema, you're gonna go to that terrace and then room D208. There is another locked door kind of next to it, the D202, but I don't recommend picking up that key. I would assume that most of you have a keychain with six slots, so I'm gonna optimize this guide to suit that. And the other option would be not to have the D208 and the cinema key, and instead of that, pick up the reception key, which is kind of 200. 30,000 ish and the manager's key. In that case, you only need to visit building B and C. In my case, it's B, C, and D, or D, C, and B, basically depending on where I spawn. After you clear the room D208, this is where things become dangerous and tricky because we need to go upstairs, C building, VIP lounge. That's the place where most of the fights happen, I would say. Most of the players and squads try to secure that area because there's the free safe, the electric safe, the launch two safe, 
the boss is spawning there and there are a bunch of valuable boxes and crates and such. In this specific game you see I was lucky because no other enemy players were there but I had to fight the boss and all of the guards alone. You can easily get rushed and destroyed while you are trying to defeat the bots but actually it also works the other way around so if you have enemy players here and you start seeing them fighting bots then you can take advantage of that you can kind of understand where they are and then surprise them and do a rush attack in this case no enemy players showed up but it was still tough to fight all of the bots i'm i, I kind of almost died so after opening the free safe which is kind of you know back there in that storage room or whatever then you can use your private lunch key and hope for a good red item in the electric safe i I didn't have anything there. Once that is done, you can open the launch 2 key. But in this game, in this specific game, I was so busy fighting bots that I actually forgot about that. At least at that point, later on, I opened it. But, uh, you know, don't do that. After clearing the bots, I heard some enemy sounds. So I was like, oh, okay, free kill, free weapon, free stuff that is going to boost my stuff that I'm going to extract with. And uh, I, I got the kill. I applied the, like, be sneaky, but in the last moment rush type of strategy. And as you can see, I could surprise that guy, it worked, and I got a nice SVDS. The thing is, guys, that I just knocked him before I killed him, so I was like, okay, there must be more. I was very, very cautious at that point, but actually nobody else showed up. Maybe they were randoms playing together and he was the only one coming to the hotel. I don't know, but I didn't meet any other players. After healing myself, all I had to do was checking the B203 room in which I found the golden lion, guys. So second red item out of four games. I was super happy and I felt like, okay, we are, we are ready to extract. And then it popped to my mind that something is missing and I went up checking that launch to key. Uh, there was nothing there. Uh, I checked some of the boxes. I found myself an F2000, by the way. So don't, don't forget looting the long boxes. Sometimes you can have nice stuff, H4, F2000 and such. And then I was ready to extract. If you get to this point of the game, you need to do a tough decision because either you need to run 700 meters to the other side of the map, that's option one, and maybe the safest. Not always, because there are always snipers and people who stay in the game for late. I died several times in the past because of that, but maybe that's the safest. Second option is that you head to the dam, but in case you do, you're going to notify the whole map and they're going to know you are there. And it may happen that you have campers at the dam basically waiting for players like you, like you know, those who are coming from the hotel. And sometimes you have the lifeboat extract, not always, but if you do, then you need to have a key for that, which means that only five keys you can use in the hotel. I'm usually not using that. And then the fourth one, which is also occasional, the extract within the hotel for two dark tags. That's a cool one, but you need to kill two people. If you're playing duos or full squad, then that's, I think, one of the best extracts. If you are playing solo, I would kind of decide between like the extract that is far away or eventually them. In this game, I decided to play it safe. I had plenty of time, so I was heading to the far west extract. And I think I did well because halfway through, I saw the notification that somebody activated them, which is like, you know, coin flip type of thing. Maybe if I would have gone to the dam, I lose everything or I kill that player or squad. Well, not likely, but anyways. Um, and then I pick up everything. One more thing. If you are playing duos or trios or squad, then you shouldn't be skipping building A, okay? Because you need to split the loot. My looting strategy is that if I have a bag full of stuff, then I'm ready to extract. I could stay there and start replacing the items I already have, but I feel like it's not worth the risk. So if I already have like 300,000 ish in my bag, then I'm good to go. If you have any questions regarding the Northridge Hotel, then please leave a comment. I'm gonna try to answer it. And if I don't know the answer, I'm gonna reach out to Zach because he definitely knows. Thank you guys for your attention. Subscribe, happy looting, and see you in the next one. Bye.